Swing down to my partner, Dan Martin. Oh, thank you, John. As we said earlier, we'll have three pure stock features, uh, three regular pure stock features, and then run the 20 lap Boomers Performance Pure Stock Classic at the conclusion of tonight's racing program. This is feature number one. As the field comes down here in the West End, Scott Morris in the 84 and Sean Perez in the 09. Going to fire from row number one, the 48 of Jethro Rossman in the 315 of Mike DeAnda make up row two. Dylan Piccini in the 35 and Brian Walsh in the 43 fire from row three. Fourth row, Craig Coons in the 133 and Jeff Melt Sr. in the 5X. Jeff Melt Jr. in the 15X. Rounding out your starting order. That's the way they run down to turn number three up on the front. It's the Redding Rocket, the 84 of Scott Morris out of Redding, Connecticut. They make their way down here on the front straightaway. A little bit slippery up in the corners. Saw Dylan Ficini with a big wiggle there as they come down. All the way up to the wall here in turn number two, Sean Perez. Jeff Meltz Jr. also. Now Ficini going to be the man on the move. Up on the outside of Morris. Morris down to the inside. He's going to give way to the number one spot. It'll be young Dylan Ficini taking over the top spot in the 35 car. Ficini, a feature event winner here in 2021. Going to be your leader when they hit the east end up off of turn number two. Side-by-side -side racing back there for third. That only lasted for a minute. Here comes Jeff Mel Sr., Looking down to the inside of your second place man, the 84, Scott Morris. Senior goes low, junior goes high. Jeff Meltz Jr. taking over third spot from Morris. Trouble on the 84. Scott Morris dropping back through the pack. He was your early leader, the pole setter. Got one dropping off the pace here on the front straightaway. It's the 09 of Sean Perez as your leaders make their way up through the West End. Out front, Dylan Ficini, we got the Melts cars back there second and third. Father and son in that order as they make their way down to the halfway sign this time by. Four laps in, four laps to go. Dylan Ficini, your leader, Jeff Melts Sr. rides in second, and we got yellow out on the speedway, car down on the inside of turn number two. Car on the inside of turn number two, it's Sean Perez's 09, I believe, and yes, that is. There you folks at home on DTV TV you can see it now as he works off at turn number two, came to a stop on the inside of the back straightaway. So just after the halfway sign had been displayed, yellow lights come on around the speedway. Dylan Ficini had a big lead built up. He will take a peek out the driver's side window and see a right front fender of the blue 5X of Jeff Meltz Sr. Jeff Meltz Sr. on the inside. If he had a rear view mirror, he'd find Jeff Meltz Jr. behind him with a 15 car. The 15X of Jeff Meltz Jr. up on the outside of row two to the inside of that second row. The 43, that's Brian Walsh. Jeff Jr.'s got a feature event win. Walsh has got three. Senior's got four. Dylan Ficini's got one, and he's looking for another here tonight. Green flag back out, down to turn number one. They go. The Melts are running side by side up through the corner. Senior on the inside, Junior on the outside. Dad going to pull away down on the inside now. Here comes Jeff Jr. up on the outside, sending it up to the high side, the fast lane, a little too high that time, off the corner, scrubbed off some speed and allowed Dad to get away here on the front straightaway. Dylan Piccini showing the way, Jeff Meltz Sr., about three car lengths behind him as they work off of turn number two. Down the back straightaway, they're going to run into turn number three, and Meltz is going to take a chunk out of that lead. He's got it down to two car lengths as they go to turn three. Up through the west end, two to go sign, this time by two laps remaining here for Dylan Piccini. Piccini going to lead him up into the east end, looking to double his win total for 2021. Got one on the board so far, trying to go for two. 
You'll get another shot at the 20 lapper later on tonight. Top seven cars in each of the features will transfer. Yellow is out. So yellow lights coming on around the speedway. Car down here in turn four. That's the 315 of Mike DeAnda. DeAnda, the reason for the caution, he's already got it rewrited and pulling away down here. So he'll be able to tack on to the tail of the field. Rodney Rescott had given the two to go sign, so we've got six on the board. So to be the equivalent of a green-white checker here in feature number one, and I just made mention, seven cars will transfer into the Boomer's Performance Classic, and that's what we've got left is seven. I, uh, I believe that formula has been changed, uh, updated on that. So what was going to be the top seven, I believe everybody's going to run the 20-lap feature. Green flag is out, down off of turn number four they come. Dylan Ficini going to lead the way up here to the east end. Then there are the Melts cars. Senior down low, junior up high. They work up off of turn number two, down the back straight away. Up into turn number three they go. Dylan Ficini, Jeff Senior, Jeff Junior, Brian Walsh back there in fourth spot. And rounding out your top five is the 133 at Craig Coons as they come to the white flag. One more time around, here in our first feature event on the evening, Dylan Ficini trying to go back to victory lane for the second time. Here comes Jeff Sr. Has Sr. got anything for him? Sr. down to the inside, a four-time winner looking for five. Down to the inside, a big wiggle for Jeff Smelt Sr. That's going to seal the deal. Dylan Ficini picks up the win. Ficini gets the victory in the 35. Then it'll be the Melt Sr. and Junior in that order.